Thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Go to nordvpn.com slash wheezywaiter and use the code wheezywaiter for a special deal. Let's begin with one of my favorite quotes from Hank Green. So I want to talk about your dreams. <laughs> this is such a sad statement, but it can be such a wonderful thing. This video is for anyone trying to get over burnout, trying to avoid burnout, or understand others who burn out. Or just for my parents, because they watch every video. Hi, Mom and Dad. No. Coming at you in four sections. One, how I burned out. Two, why I burned out. Three, how I got over it. Four, why I will never burn out again. And hopefully from my experience, you shall drink it all in and pee out enlightenment. Let's begin. Wait, wait, wait. We need intro music. Let's begin. <laughs> Section one, how I burned out, or I did stuff over and over and over and over again until I died. So starting 12 and a half years ago, I made thousands of videos, you could say. And after about 10 years of doing that, I experienced burnout. At least I think it was burnout. I assume burnout is a specific thing and it's exactly the same for everybody. Everybody's going to experience it differently. Oh really, but... Katie Morton, licensed therapist and YouTuber who has done a playlist of 14 videos about burnout. Tell me, what are the symptoms of burnout? Irritability, difficulty sleeping, and here's the kicker and where it kind of differs from anxiety or depression, which if burnout goes untreated, it can lead to those things. We tend to start resenting the quote unquote job we're doing. And this isn't like the normal, oh, I don't want to get up for work. You don't feel like yourself. I used to think I wanted to be like a talk show host, someone who went out every day and performed and told silly jokes. Then something happened that kind of ruined that for me. I did it in video form a lot over and over and over and over and over again for years to the point where I was writing jokes that I wasn't sure I had already made and sometimes I did repeat them and then after that every time I'd watch someone like Colbert or Conan or something I thought they must be miserable having to go out there and do that all the time true they had a studio audience which makes it different but also it turns out that's just not something I wanted to do at least after a while which leads us to number two Section two, why I burned out, or, and we'll have fun, 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 till the work put in is not worth the pain. Here's why. Why do we burn out? When the reward for what we do isn't at least equal with the effort we put in. Ah, so I need to make more money? And the reward isn't just money. Oh, uh-huh. The reward can be ability to reach people. For me, the reward is like connectivity, I've realized, with what I do online. And if I'm so busy that I don't get to connect with my audience, then, I become super agitated. <laughs> I think a lot of people associate it with just like overwork, especially on YouTube, like the constant grind of having to put out more and more videos. I didn't feel like I was overworked. What I felt was just a loss of, of meaning in it. Is that a form of burnout? Yeah, because the reward was meaning for you and it was lost. So I'm realizing that my reward is actually just being proud of the thing I've made. In the beginning, I thought the point was to entertain. Watch me be dumb so I can brighten your day. Actually, that's what I like to tell myself the purpose was if I'm being optimistic and lying a little bit. If I'm being 100% honest, the purpose was probably mostly that I got to do things like this for my job. I get to be my own boss, make my own schedule, and just do what I enjoyed for a living. It was the dream. I genuinely enjoyed writing, performing, shooting, editing video for its own sake. For my first 100 videos, I had 32 subscribers. No one was watching and it was still incredibly fun. I was a production nerd. Problem is, things only stay fun for so long. Fun's a finite resource. I was banking my career on a finite resource. It's like just as bad as chasing a number. Get 100,000 views on a video or a million subscribers or something and setting those goals and then once you get there, then what? Then you've lost your meaning. Yeah, you're putting your meaning into something very finite. I have friends who have hobbies that they could make into careers. Painting, music, beer making, and if I suggest to them, hey, you want to make this legit? They scoff at the idea. I always thought that was silly. Why not just figure out a way to organize your life so that you can do what you love all the time? Turns out they were right. It burns you out. Though, also, I'm still glad I did it. But yes, I burned out. The thing that I thought was fun wasn't fun anymore, so the meaning was lost. Section three, how I got over it, or past Craig is a dingus. Though current Craig is also a dingus, but past Craig is more dinguser. Here's why. By the way, you know I'm getting all this really even lighting on my face right now? I'm using an amazing bounce board known as Midwestern Snow. So, how I got over it. One, denied it. I just kept making things as a way of searching for what my next thing should be. How does one motivate his or herself if he or she were to want to motivate him or her to be a better man or woman? There are things that 
are intrinsically motivating to a person, mm -hmm. and you have to figure out what those already are. Baby and wife are priority number one. Yeah. Sometimes I struggle with what is priority number two. Why should I make videos? That's maybe it's not even number two. Number two, yeah. pizza. Yeah. Number three, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Not a good idea. Didn't really work. Probably made it take way longer than it should have. Two, eventually stopped and then did something completely different. And that different thing was to stop chasing fun and to start chasing meaning. E minor represents meaning. Listen how deep that is. Maybe what took me so long to figure that out was that I couldn't let go of what I thought my past self wanted because that's what I was supposed to do. I set up my life for that. I'm reminded uh, again of what Hank Green said. So I wanna talk about your dreams. <laughs> Basically what he means is at some point in your past, you decided what your goals and dreams would be. And then as he got older and he got more experience. But it turns out that you might not want the thing you thought you wanted. Which is good news because. This is weirdly freeing. Like you don't have any obligation to your former self. You, there's no loyalty to them. There's no loyalty to a desire you once had. Basically seeking out a life of absurdist fun didn't do it for me anymore. Just like regular potato chips don't do it any for me either. Sweet potato chips, that's what I'm talking about. Not a sponsor. It took me a while to figure out what does do it for me, but now I know. Which leads to why I'll never burn out again. Or, I mean, I think I won't burn out again, probably, because of this stuff I'm going to list off at you. One, I have embraced an infinite reward. Curiosity. Figuring out how the world works, how humans work, what we know, what we don't know, how we can improve, and then using all the skills that I learned from doing all that silly stuff over the years to best convey that to you. Two, accept that it will suck sometimes. It can be fun, but it's not always fun. It's often stress-inducing. But so what? The main point isn't to have fun. I see every video as a challenge, and it's very rewarding to overcome those challenges. Not just the literal challenges of like quitting sugar for a month or going vegan for a month, but also the Why Do People Like series. Finding a topic and trying to find out all the information I can on all sides and come to some sort of truth about it. A couple of videos I have coming up, Why Do People Like Nuclear Power and Why Do People Like Universal Basic Income? Those are things I genuinely just want to know more about, and a lot of people have different opinions about the issue, and I want to see if we can at least find some sort of common ground. Of course, I'm still gonna do silly, dumb stuff because I still find that fun sometimes, and that's who I am. It's just like my style or whatever, deal with it. Three, I militantly make sure I know the purpose of everything I'm doing. Constantly check in with yourself to figure out what is fulfilling for you, what is the reward. If I'm not being intentional with what I'm doing, that's how burnout can take over. Four, I'm willing to let my purpose change. That reward is, is always moving for us. It's like a moving target of how we, how we get that. Maybe there will come a time when I'm bored with doing this, but if I'm constantly checking in on what my purpose is, it'll be so much easier to change. Also, I've taken to heart the idea that I learned from the book Decisive, How to Make Better Choices, which I've mentioned before, that either or is usually a false choice. When you're presented with something and you're like, I could either go all in this way or all in that way, most of the time, there's going to be countless other options. So if I come to a point where things aren't going the way I want, it doesn't mean life's over, I failed, quit, quitting time, yeah, quitting time. I don't know why, it's my quitting time dance, similar to my prospector dance. A possum, give it a give it a, yeah, I'll take care of it. Oh. I've done a lot of videos. It might mean I just have to shift my focus a little bit, not quit everything. Five, remember that this is a job. No one's happy at their job all the time. That's okay. It is in fact a job. You can walk away from it. It's not healthy to make it the only thing in your life. Finding ways to work smarter, not harder. Having kind of a set schedule, not keep making your to-do list longer than seven things. Sometimes I get the feeling that I should be working harder. Oh, I should do this, I should do that because this job is amazing. I'm very privileged and lucky to be in this position, to be able to do this for a living. So there's always this little bit of guilt whenever you feel like, oh, I don't wanna do it. But at the end of the day, it is a job. Sometimes I'm not gonna enjoy it. So what? Either take a break or suck it up, buttercup. Now I'd like to thank our sponsor, NordVPN. Virtual private network. Not only a network for privates in the army, but also commanders and generals and lieutenants and actually anyone outside of the army. You probably weren't confused by that. Take control of your internet. Out of control, buddy. With Nord, you can tell the internet that your computer has a different IP address in a different country. So any of those nasties out there who try to break in, they won't even know where you are. Super fast servers, risk-free, 30-day money-back guarantee. Not just like the back of your money, but like all of your money. You weren't confused by that either. Unlimited bandwidth. I don't know 
know about band heights. Probably unlimited as well. It's really useful when I'm traveling. If I'm like mid binge on a Netflix show that only shows in America, I can tell it that I'm in America and I can watch it. Right now, let's say we're in Austria. Do hills all along. A ton of music takes place there. That's the only thing I know about Austria. I need to travel more. I should go to Austria, use Nord to say I'm still in the US and then watch Sound of Music on Disney Plus as research so I know where that mountain is so I can go twirl around where Julie Andrews did. That's my new goal. I'm done with curiosity. Just go to nordvpn.com slash wheezywaiter linked down there and get 70% off a three year plan. It's $3.49 a month for 36 months. And if you use the code wheezywaiter, you get one more month free. Thank you for watching. Previous video, I went to bed at 7 p.m. every night to see if I could improve my terrible sleep. YouTube thinks you'll like that video. You can subscribe right there and click the bell so that you get all the notifications. You can support me on Patreon. One of the perks is I upload a video every single weekday. I do a monthly live stream, I do bloopers, and I do poopers. That's not for Patreon, that's for myself. What a way to end.